without Jeff here. I think it looks good. And I have Vampire to be my person. That helps. Just ignore that part. <laughs> um, I guess listen enough to see if you can hear me. Let me get start. Hi, Judy. Judy. Okay. So, Vamp is checking to make sure that I can hear me and you can hear me and we can hear me. And hopefully you yeah, can. Good. Awesome. Today, I was supposed to tell John to come in for this live, but this is a spur of the moment live. So, he and I discussed that he was going to send me a whole bunch of stuff and whenever the occasion presents itself, I'm going to use a whole bunch of stuff. And today, I'm going to use some of this. Of the things that are, oh, angel hair with La Meta. Can't tell you what that means, but that's what it is. I'm going to call it Santa's beard because that's what it looked like. Also, stay tuned because we're going to do some giveaways of this sample glitter. I think we're going to give one away at the end of this. And then the next, um, eight mystery boxes over 50 bucks will also get bonus this that won't count towards the 50 bucks because I didn't pay for it. Therefore you will not pay for it. So Lametta is another word for tinsel. Oh, Lametta is another word for tinsel. Learn something new every day. It's a thin wire or foil made of brass, gold, or silver. Oh, well, that must be the, the silver thin bits. strips of metallic foil used as Christmas decorations. Oh, so Lametta is like tinsel, and there is the tinsel amongst the angel hair, which I cannot tell you what it is because I don't know. So now we know. Now we know. They will be here answering questions for me. Um, before we get started, I have to tell you that I saw people mixing fibers and even toilet paper into modeling paste to get it to be thicker so that their petals can stay up. I don't know if this is going to work, but who knows? So I cut up Santa's beard into smaller bits and I'm going to mix it into some that and then we're going to see if it works and then... See if it works. I think it'll work sort of like, you know, when birds build their nests, they use all sorts of different things to make it structurally sound. Yeah. I mean, so you're just, you're adding anything in to make it a thicker. It's like, I feel like it'll be a good filler. But I wonder if it'll make it like furry. <laughs> I don't know. Furry, it, furry flowers. It could be furry flowers. Who's to say? So we'll find out together. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Aunt Paul. <laughs> I caught myself. I'm gonna help her up after I let you guys know that Vamp's down. Hi, Vicky. Boy. Bowie came over to say hello. So hello. Melissa's in the house. Libby, Lisa Bannister, Sandy. What's up, all you fams? Swampers watching and working. Alba's watching on lunch break, even if it is just on our lunch break. Judy said birds also use spit. Are you going to use spit in it too? I <laughs> will not be using spit today. <laughs> oh, no. that much. What are you going to be making? A flower? I'm going to try the flower thing just because that's why people mix in the fibers is to thicken it to, to hold right. shape. Um, hopefully that works. And then if not, it's fine because I tried it so no one else has to. Cool. Did you show them that flower? Is that the kind of flower you're doing? The purple? I 
you showed them this flower for the first day, but it's even turned even more discolored. Cause this is the one I used basically laundry detergent in. So it's like, Oh, you can kind of see the little like crystally. Yeah. Yeah. So Libby, she's using a uh, modeling paste and then she's adding in or trying to just add in this uh, Santa's beard just as like a thickener. You know what would probably be really good for this is that stuff from Stone Coat. That's basically, yes. The quick coat But filler. this is, you don't need a mask no, for this. You, don't have you need a mask, a mask for the other one. That's like a silica fiber. That's basically what this is. Just this is thicker, like a larger. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna cut up some, not today, but some, um, some of my fiberglass cloth. Uh, Alpha would like to know what the base you're using and is it a wax paper or butcher paper? How are you mixing? So I'm just mixing this on some butcher paper. Is it shiny on both sides? Shiny side up. Okay, so it's shiny on one side, dull on the other. So always remember to do the shiny side, unless you're me, then you always forget that part. <laughs> yeah, apparently it always forgets to make it shiny side up. Always do. Should I mix plaster into this? Hi, Tim. Um, oh, it's sparkly. Got a little shimmer to it. Is it doing the little ridgy thing? Oh, it's hairy. <laughs> it is hairy. Is it, is it doing the little ridgy thing? Or I, I haven't tried it. I think it's still too... It's um, too liquidy thin. Yeah. I was going to have a problem doing the the thing because of all the hairs. So it's going to have... This one's not going to be able to do the ridgy thing. I'm going to have to... Do that like flower. Yeah, I'm going to have to like smear the petals. But that's okay because I think that I'll be able to still shape this. Swamper's laughing. Who knows who at? Swamper. <laughs> Stop laughing at my pain, except for go for it. It is a bit hairy. But if you can't tell once I have it. Yeah, Judy said it's called freezer paper. Pedaled out. If you can't tell, then you can't tell. It doesn't even matter. Trisha, hello. Hello. Very hairy flowers. There are very, um, like furry flowers. If I knew how to make like velvety kind of flowers, a Venus flytrap, this would be Ooh. perfect. Okay. So let me show you my hairy. Why's everyone laughing? <laughs> my hairy this. Mmm. Fibrous. Okay. Hairy. So it is making it a little thicker but not thick enough for to add like rigidity it is thicker enough to have rigidity so if i pull it up like this it'll stay in like that oh cool so that's good noted you know what i'm seeing right now oh do you know what i'm seeing a wave somehow the hair is making it a wave like the big, big wave. So big wave, not a little wave. Like from here, I'm seeing a wave in in the making, a big crashy wave. Big crashy. Yeah, when the wave. you know they go on the rocks yeah. and do this. <laughs> yeah, cattails. Oh yeah, those are furry. Okay. Mana Mana says, "Oh my God, that looks weird." I wonder if I could do this. Yeah, Tim, a pipeline. Nope. Still too goofy to hand build it. So it's fine. Hi, Arlene. Hi, Arlene. I'm gonna add more. Basically, you're almost making um, oh, I need to add color anyways. Old school like plaster used to have like hair, like horse hair and stuff in it. Like old rugs and old plastic. Way back in the day, mm -hmm. when they were trying to mortar their homes, they being humans that made homes with rocks and wood, they would use mud and clay and use like horse hair 
and its branches and things. That's kind of what you're doing. You learn something new every day. I did not know that. Judy says could be a great spread on canvas for texture. Oh yeah, and they used to use horse hair in uh, rugs and made them very sturdy rugs. I know this because I had to rip it out of one of my houses before. Sounds it was not. Alright, let's add some color just so we can see what's happening. Ooh, Tim said also could be cool mountains. Could be cool mountains. Yeah. I could see it as like this could definitely be a, a good okay, landscapey. Yeah. If you needed to do grass for a oh yeah a terrarium or one of those things i guess i should have made it green coral it could look corally it could look corally you did it properly because it has these little points yeah what other things do points like that i'm gonna figure out what to do with this because it's got so much it's okay potential. swamper if you're laughing at me i don't mind i'm used to it adobe clay houses have grass or straw mixed in for reinforcement sandy sanders hey sandy brenda oh, says hi from though. florida hi brenda and it's still glittery it is still shimmery i guess that what did you call it lamette uh, uh, come back lametta the meta slash tinsel. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you <laughs> okay, so you could use this as, as the center. If this was yellow, the center of a flower, because it is very that. All right, I'm gonna make it work <laughs> with this. I'm gonna make it work. See, because you can smooth it out. Yes. I just don't know if... I'm just thinking of all the ways you can use this texture. I don't know any other <laughs> way. I like so. the mountain idea. And the wave, like in my head, what I'm seeing is like a crashy wave. Crashy Like wave. a stormy wave. It looks like a... Bizor? What? Arlene, a what? A B E Z O A R. Bizor? Bizarre. No, she said like A. I don't know what a bizarre is. I don't either. That could be a purple thistle flower. Sandy Sanders. See? I knew it was a flower. I'm just going to make some super texture flowers right now. I'm going to look up a... You're going to look up hairy flowers? A purple. <laughs> yes. You know everyone else is out there doing that. <laughs> Sandy probably in her head knew about her spiny thistle flower. Oh, it so is. Okay. So I'm just trying to shape my petals in this moment. A thistle flower. Oh, it does look like a thistle. And I chose the right color. See, you meant to. Thousand percent meant to. I will say though, <laughs> harnessing these. Can I show the people what we're talking about? Yeah, well, of course. You may have to turn your screen down. It's a thistle flower. Mm -hmm. I like And that. a bee. Look, there's a bee. What is he? I like, like this splattery look that it gives. Easy like where it's just touching. Okay, I'm looking at things. Are yes. you talking Harry Potter over here with your bizarre? Or is it a thing? What is it a thing? Yeah. Jeff is either going to come home and be like, that's so rad, or what is that? Oh, a hairball. It's 
that's where the door is. Why don't they just call it a hairball instead of a bedroom door? Because it could be too many. Mm. You don't want to see the pictures of that. Well, I don't want to see the pictures. That's a hairball. Very sure. <laughs> Okay, I will say the fibers are hard to control. Ooh, a volcano. Have a couple of flowers in your repertoire before attempting a Santa's beard one. Tim Pease would like to know how long does it take for this to dry? Right. And I think it probably depends on what you mix with it as well. Right. So if you're mixing plaster in, it dries relatively fast, like, like two hours. Yeah. And then, um, modeling paste, I think is probably a 24 hour. If it's thin enough. Cause that's what I used on that one piece. I give it a day to dry. I mean, if it's, I'm, I did this one this morning. I mean, you could paint over it, but you couldn't, it's still kind of, um, uh, uh, light water content. <laughs> Try not to say the N word. Oh. And if you do it too thick, it can crack. You have to keep that in mind. Making a rosebud of this spiny thistle flower. I like these. I like how you did the center. Look how she did the center of this. See that little center? And this she did this morning. And it's pretty dry. Alright, I'm going to attempt a rosebud. A fuzzy furry rosebud. So far it looks like a rosebud. There's gonna just be a flower bud, but um, that's not a rose. So it's just gonna have to be. Kelly Conran said, Happy dance, love wildflowers. I take lots of photos of landscape. Oh, yeah. And Sandy Sanders says, this would be good for spider webs. You should try the spider web fiber stuff at Halloween. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have a ton of that at my house. I know, shocking. I have Halloween stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I knew there was something I had to do today. If you were going to go Halloween shopping today? Y'all, Halloween stuff is out. If you're into Halloween decor, right now is the time to go. Before I get to it all. <laughs> Halloween has cool like paint colors that come out. So you can definitely see the texture of the fibers. Yeah, that's cool looking. If you were going to do spooky flower, this would be rad because all of these fibers are wrapped and soaked in the this modeling paste. So those are going to be rigid. So you could have a super creepy flower. If you wanted to put flowers under your skull guy, you keep your head up dry. Oh yeah. Always hold your head. Yeah. Um, so I think there's a lot of potential with this. I'm just gonna have to rework it and figure. Arlene would like to know if you're going to paint over the white ones, foil or alcohol ink them? Um, I am going to paint over them. There's a few little cracks, so I haven't decided how just yet. I mean, there's some cracks, but it's fine. It's plaster. What are you going to do? No, so, it adds to it. Let's do a gray wash. 
on this one, and then I'll just finish this. Ooh, like um, maybe a watercolor. Well, I mean, a wash is like a watercolor, but yeah, because would that maybe soak in a little to the plaster? I don't know. Teresa Griffin, hello, Teresa. PG. Jennifer said, stepped out for a few. What I miss? We made a hairy flower. We made a hairy flower. <laughs> a purple, a purple thistle rose hybrid. Yeah, we made that. All right, I need some aqua. Everyone, if you're getting some giggles, hit that thumbs up. Share a video. Yeah, leave me your thumbs. If you're watching this later, comment. It helps the YouTubers out there, and it's free for you. It's free. There is a contest going on. I haven't decided what the giveaway. That is white. What was this? Yeah, I know, but I don't know what the, like, what's the competition? I thought you said something about mystery boxes. Well, it's not a giveaway, it's gonna be in a mystery box. I figured we would give one away, like, during the live. Oh, got it, during the live. Um, but I don't know what question is. We'll come up with a question. Neutral tint. Mm. I don't think Q O R watercolor knows what neutral means because that looks like black. Mm -hmm. Question for me? Look at me. Yeah. This can be the question. What is blank? Yeah. Sounds good. All right, let's get this washed. Oh yeah, Teresa, you can always donate on Super Chats. Tim P said, mystery box what? Right, Tim's all about some mystery boxes. So there's um, the glitter glass company that Erica works with. Has a new, what is it, like colorway? Color name? That is a specialty color for Glitterama. Mm -hmm. It's like a gold, silver, platinum mix. Right. So anytime you order from Meyer Imports during their Glitterama special season, um, you'll get one of those just thrown in. And I think I think you said it starts on August first. It's yeah. their limited edition. Glitter on the starts August 1st, and you should get them. And the coupon code to use on their site is down in the description of the videos. To save a little bit. Yep, the discount code is ATD2022. And that's on their website as well. It's the same uh, glitter glasses that... Erica sells. Right. So I'm using Payne's Gray to just add some color to the outside. Libby, a balloon was not used to make the petals. Uh, Erica showed these ones right here, the white, on yesterday's video. Uh, towards the end, she showed real quick how she did these particular style flowers with just the modeling paste. You did not add, add anything into it. It's just the modeling paste, right? Yeah. And a palette knife. Mm -hmm. Erica cannot really speak right now. She has a paintbrush in her mouth. So I'm talking for her. I don't know why. <laughs> I had a paintbrush in my mouth. I had a whole hand open. Ew. I was just watering. Okay. Why are you trying to kill my bed? Don't kill it. 
water. So I'm just trying to add some depth. Thank you, TG. Thank you so much, TG. She sure. said, because ATD is the best ever learning channel. Aw, I'll take it. So I'm trying to add dark on the outside area and then use just a water drenched brush to bring it inward. And that's just going to collect on any texture that I have on the petals, which I love. Because basically it's antiquing it and I don't have to do anything. Kelly, do you mean on resin? Uh, Kelly asks, can you teach us how to create the water drops in future videos, please? You can absolutely teach you how to do water drops. Are you asking about water drops in resin or like spray paint water drops or alcoholic bubbles? Or actual like airbrush jet style water, like really. Right. And then there's jet style water drop, which is just hyper realism. Psycho style. I don't even know how it does it. So, I don't know if I told you guys this is Payne's Gray. And I'm going to add gold leaf and I think a pale pink to this. Should I do something to the... What about like copper? Like what is gold or copper? It's kind of gold. Um, you said pink, so then I started thinking it was gold know. metal leaf. Too dusty of a color. Libby another says, I want to see Erica's hand using the Dawn Power Wash. Oh, you guys haven't, yeah, you did a video on the Dawn Power Wash. I haven't done it on my canvas, I did it with tumblers. And after that came out of my mouth, I feel like I did do one on canvas. In any case, I can revisit that for you guys, no problem. I initially intended on doing this as a time lapse because I know some of it can get boring. Libby, she did it, I think, on a Tumblr video a while ago, but not the like full giant canvas style that you're seeing a lot out right now. So that could be a cool video. I'll add it to a list. Sam's always got my list running, so if you have any video requests, shoot me an email and Bam will see it and then I'll just put it on the calendar. Anyone have any questions? No, I'm just over here in my own little world. About anything, why she's doing this? I think everyone's just in a zone watching you. I do that when Jeff doodles. Get in a zone when Jeff doodles? Yeah get in the zone. My mind goes blank and I just watch. <laughs> just little doodles are great. Zone out. That's cool to push it up and get a little shadow going. Mm -hmm. And it was just a drop you used of that, right? Just the smallest bit of paint. Yeah, because it's watercolor and it's I want to add resin to these texture pieces, but 
I haven't decided how best. Maybe the outside. Do a fun pattern mm -hmm. around the outside of them so they don't go in. Maybe. That'd be real thin resin. Yeah. And probably if I'm going to do that for that look, it'd probably be best to add the resin before the plaster. Just so I don't have to resin around something. My question then would be would the plaster actually stick to the threads? I would just scuff under where it's going. Because, yeah, that would be a concern. Because I know it doesn't stick to this. Right. I would like to know are you going to do a two tone color flower? Um, am I going to paint a two tone color flower or am I going just to, do, do to just do a two tone one? I mean, right now, I would assume painting, because you're painting. Yeah, but sometimes people's video are like... She did two-tone petal uh, flower yesterday with the actual... She colored the modeling paste two different colors and then mixed them. But this way, with the painting, she could do a two-tone. Okay. Lisa said, this method could make some fabulous plumerias. Kimberly, Kimberly says, <laughs> this is such a vamp thing. She's working from home and she keeps accidentally typing my work stuff here in chat and then her comments on her spreadsheet. <laughs> Goodness. Sounds like something <laughs> It is canvas, Tim. Yeah, this is just canvas just because it's lightweight is mm. this is alizarin with crimson and i can't even say that out loud without thinking about something Barbara. you're making a pink a hopefully pretty watered down pink but i don't think that's going to be the case Gray and pink is a very good color combo. Agreed. Arlene said these do look Hawaiian. You can see Hawaiian. The paintbrush is shedding. Well, we're used to hairy things at the moment. Hairy things are a thing right now. On canvas. So Pam said, palette knife art on canvas. I love that style. Y'all should try it. Is it? <laughs> she just came in, I think. Oh, so I actually have been thinking about doing palette knife art on canvas. Um, the only real delay in doing that is I didn't want it to be like, I'm not a better artist than anybody, but I wanted it to be unique in some way because there are a lot of people doing just right, find really like nice a nice splashes of color, like a unique twist on it, or yeah, or unique color combos or ways. Well, I'm yeah, that's trying to bring myself into it. Yeah, which is what is awesome mm -hmm. about art. We can all be watching you do these flowers, and then we could all, everyone in chat, could all do this and even try to copy those exact flowers and they'd all look super unique mm -hmm. and different because people bring their own visions their own colors they like to it that's true and it's how art grows and it's how art techniques are learned because people like you that do the test people like me that <laughs> I don't even do a test. I just do stuff and <laughs> see if it works. Well, that works for you, so. It usually does it. But it's fun. <laughs> I learned what not to do. That's for sure. Okay, large, but... large paper plates are good to mix <laughs> in. I can see that. What about paper plates? 
they're good to mix in like a oh, yeah, palette. Yeah. I used, I don't even know how many of those, trying to figure out how to work with this stuff. Not the watercolor, the plaster in general. Yes, Teresa, shared knowledge. Exactly. Also, if you didn't see yesterday's video, she did this real quick with a stencil. So you can do many different things. See? Jeff, uh, that's cool. That this morning. So cool looking. There's so many ideas to do with this. <gasps> Ooh, go get him, guard doggy. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit of pink on the work it up into the petal without changing any of the flow. It's pretty. Sounds like my puppy daddy's here. Joala says, hi Erica, Jeff, and everyone. That is looking so beautifully awesome. So I'm using a wet brush with the color and then just slightly damp brush to blend it upward. I don't think it's him because why is he still working? Maybe not. Right now I need to figure out what I want to do with the inside of these, I guess. I don't have a choice, it kind of just needs to be yellow. It's got to be yellow. I don't even like yellow. It does seem like it should be yellow. Or black. I'm not going to do black. Purple. Mm. Okay, yellow. Yeah, I think so. Yellows. I'm just going to do yellows. this, like, just right. Howdy, howdy! Do you know who that was? Flare Bear. She's in the house. Alright, I don't ever teach painting like with a paintbrush. But I will say that if you need a pale color, don't add white to the color. Add the color to white. That will help you too much color. Wait, what? If you're trying to get a pale color, right. add the color to white and not add the white to color. You're going to use a lot gotcha. more product. Don't on your, if you're mixing, yeah, on like yeah, a like palette. Did. Yeah. Push the color in a little. Right. Got it. So, I want to keep the yellow super pale because this whole thing kind of has a washed out look anyways. It's beautiful lemon aid color. It is very lemonade-y. Mm, lemonade. So I just put some of the color down and I'm kind of picking it up. <coughs> Bowie! <coughs> hey! Bowie! Bowie! Picking up just a little bit of the color, stippling it in, and then just adding more water to pick up, dilute, and move some of that color around. So it's watercolor, and that's kind of what it's good for. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of the darker or brighter yellow, just in some spots. That is a great color with that flower. For depth of shade. Thank you. I wish I knew how to put this on my TV so I can see it up close and personal. What kind of TV do you have? I use 
my fire stick to stream YouTube. And that's how I get it on my big TV. Arlene has to go. She has 1.30 appointment. Looking so good already. I'll catch the rest later. Bye, Arlene. Thanks, Arlene. Have a good doctor's appointment. Meow. I think I'm going to do just a bit of a color wash before we add any gold leaf. Judy says, Bowie's getting Dixie all jabbed up helping him work. Dixie butt. Okay. I like it better like this. So I'm going to just I'm gonna put some eye cat drippies. She has some kind of big fancy TV. That's how I did it. Some TVs have, um, like, YouTube built right in to the remote, mm -hmm. like Netflix, YouTube, Disney, if it's new. And then someone said iPhone. I don't know anything about Apple's, but I know Judy can stream with her Apple to her TV. Yeah, can stream. So some of the color I got on my brush and some I'm just picking up from the outer rim of the flower so that it can be darker in some areas and lighter in others. Are you doing sort of like the roses behind you type look? The light? Yeah. I'm not trying to create a drop shadow. I'm just trying to create some movement. A little bit of movement and a little bit of depth. And I'm varying how long I pull those strokes. Because I don't want it to be fully uniform. I'm adding a little bit darker every time. Oh, you do this on your landscapes too. It looks cool. I do this. On your, oh, not landscape. What's called? Skyline. Yeah, I do this right? a lot on my everything. It looks cool. It's very on brand for me. Just play with it, Joella. You'll find it. <laughs> TG. TG's not wrong. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some water to all of that to wash it just a little bit. So watercolors kind of act like alcohol links, except they aren't as finicky. Like if I put water next to a watercolor like this, it's just going to kind of blur it or fuzzy it a little bit. But if this were alcohol links, it would have completely reactivated everything that's in this room. So if you added water yep. to it. Would it, I understand the blur part, would it like erase it kind of, like if you put alcohol in alcohol ink? I don't think it would. It just really release. soften it? I think it would just soften it. Okay. Because the color would have to go somewhere. It would, and it could come back into the brush just a little bit, but because canvas is so porous. Yeah. That's us on there. It's in there, okay. Mm -hmm. But you could blur or lighten it a little. Maybe if I was working on like one of the white cradle boards that we have. Oh, okay. It may not because those are not as porous. They're like for alcohol inks. Pulling a straight line when your canvas is flat is... They could see it when you had it raised up. Easily one of the hardest things. If you need to raise it up, they could see it before, but okay. I feel like I can do this upside down easier than I can this way before. I'm trying to darken just some areas and just building that color a bit. Also remember that unless spoken for or they tell you, art that they create is always for sale as well. My art is always for sale. You like something? You can always new? email the piece that you like and let us know. You ship everywhere, right? I ship around. 
the world. It's Australia is iffy right now. We're testing if they're taking shipments right now. Large shipments. Yeah. That's been a whole... Her package is at LAX now. She said yesterday. Why is taking so long? I mean, I guess as long as it gets there. Whatever. I mean, it's going. <laughs> I mean, it got to Chicago last time when I did live there. Carol says, hi, everyone. Hi, Carol. So see how I added that heavy water here? And so it just kind of blurred it and made it look kind of like a stain. Oh. Which you can get alcohol links to do that pretty easily, but it would have woke up everything around it. Yeah, the, the watercolor alcohol ink does have a similar, or you can get similar effects. Mm -hmm. Things that are totally different, but also, yeah, like some of that looks very alcohol ink, and then other looks paint, painterly, painterly, painterly. Painterly. Erica's teaching me big words though. I teach stamp new words every day. <laughs> so I just went in with clear to see if I could scoot this in or pick it up, and it's just not moving. Mm -hmm. Softened it a little? Like, little. Very little. So when it's down on the canvas, it's, it's, there, it's, it's there. All right, let's get some. I think I might just pull a little bit up, very faint, so it doesn't look like, I don't even know what, but I'm just using a wet brush and then pulling the ink off of the petal. It's already there. Paint off the petal. Yep. You know what I mean? Just clearing it up. But just to give the background a slight gray hue. Oh, this is so cool looking. So many ideas. Don't fall into that trap of being inspired and then it just sits in your brain. Yeah, turn. When the light goes off, go do it. <laughs> right? I'm adding a little bit extra dark over here because there's nothing visually interesting about that side. So yeah, there we have our background everything. Meow then. Man, both our allergies. Sorry everyone if you hear us sniffling. The right, weather sorry, outside is... Yeah, we're having a jar of that that we said I should use. A jar? Oh, yep. Oh, baby! Oh, hi! Right now I'm just charging up some of my sticky pens. Got one. Check. Okay. This is a sticky pen. It's by Deco Foil or iCraft. I'm not sponsored, but yeah. They did have sent me stuff before, but this was not one of them. And I'm gonna be using Pink Delight Metal Flake. You can find it in our store, artiststilldeath.com. Um, Claire would like to know, do we have the, uh, modeling paste in the Amazon store and the paints? Um, I don't know if I have. Claire, I'll add that to the list of things that we need to look into. That will get me right. This is sober. Okay, so I'm using my sticky pen from Deco Foil, not sponsored, but if you're watching, what's up? And I'm, okay, initially I was gonna 
just antique the the ridges of my flowers. But now that I have the pink, I'm like, should I should I do the inside? <gasps> Ooh. Like in these areas? Like scribble it. I think that would be beautiful. Well, let's try one and see. I'm going to color all the way in, all the way up to... My central stamina area. Then this is an adhesive pen that she's using. Pretty sure the adhesive pens are in the store. I'm pretty sure it's in there. So I'm just doing a little bit of a scribbly scribble. And you'll be able to see that once the um, Teresa says, oh, it's getting real now. Right. Ev Evelyn said, been watching. Looks nice, E. Thank you. Watch out for Girl Cat. She hears everything, Lisa says. I know. Girl oh, Cat. and Pugsley loves the bring out, bring out the flake and, and foil. Thing. My cats are like, hey. Did I tell you I caught boy cat literally eating cold leaf? I mean, <coughs> my cat eats plastic. They would like us to zoom in, but I don't know how to zoom in. So there's not a whole lot to see just yet because everything's clear. Okay. So now. Okay. So the way. The bottle with the lady on it. Mm. Mona Lisa, yep. everybody. Mona Lisa. By Speedball. It's a milky <laughs> color, and then once it starts to dry, it goes clear. So, you could, I don't know if they can see this little bit of milkiness that's running right here. Me? Okay. That mm. is, I charged my this, and that's what came out. So, for the people that don't know what charged means... So this is charging a pen. You press down on the little nibby. Press See? down and the color comes. Oh, no. I, you're zoomed. Okay. Zoomed. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can notice that it's milky white color. But once it's ready for stuff to get stuck to it, it goes clear. So I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'll put my face next to it. All right. <laughs> so... Nothing. Sticky. So, this... Clara, I am not reading that sentence out loud in front of Erica. Why do you hate me? Why <laughs> do you guys hate me? I'm trying with the camera, y'all. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. Teresa said, a firm tack. Firm tack is good. So... I'm just putting a little bit of this down. <gasps> That's not a little. That's not a little. It's more of a little. All right, I thought I'd be fancy with it, but it's not working for me. So we're going to not use this brush. And I'm just gonna kind of varnish. <gasps> it's so pretty. That was me, Bowie some of this leaf on. The hard thing about using a sticky pen is you can't really, even if it is white until it's ready to go, you can't really always see where it is. Clara, could you put this in the, um, Description. This is what she's using right now. Thank you. I have the best mods ever. Buff it in with your brush in swirly motions. Did someone say that to me or are you saying that? But Claire is just telling the people what you're saying. Thank you for clarification. Thanks, lady. All right, that's too big of a chunk. 
So once you get your first bit of oh, I love it. foil down, you can see where you're at and where you want to add more. If you want to add more, I'm going to add more because in my world, more is more. And obviously this must be a really amazing pink if I'm liking pink. That's so beautiful. Valid point because Vamp is not a pink fan. A fuchsia fan, not pink. This is, wow, I might have to get some of this. You guys save one for me. Don't buy them all. Thanks. Love Vamp. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> just leave me one. <laughs> I'm just adding a little something. That one looks fine. Yeah, you, you added more on this petal over there. I'm pretty sure I added more to all of the makeup that I said. Yeah, because those two don't have That is just gorge. Lisa says. Thanks, TG. Lisa says, that's gorgeous. And then lots of hearts and kissy emojis and a happy face from Clara, which I don't know what that means. Clara's always happy, doesn't she? That's, I know. I'm like, that seems very... <laughs> Are you mad? It's standard. <laughs> it's just happy. <laughs> just, just par for the Claire course. Like, like never see just the normal happy face in Uchi. Alright, just letting this stick to the little bits that we didn't get the first time. Lisa, if you put an order in, we'll um, put it in your shipment. Um, the glitter glass little handout deal, you guys have to get on that because free glitter glass is everybody's favorite thing. Right? Yeah. So is it anything they order? As far as I can remember. Hold on, I have the email. Right it was here. not a minimum order okay. amount. Sometimes you have to use your face. All right, so starting on August 1st, so you can kind of do some research on the glitter glass site and see what you want. And then starting on August 1st, you will get a free sample glitter pack, just like the one I showed you. And then also free shipping uh -oh. on all orders over a hundred. That's pretty amazing. That's kind of great. Cause and glitter know. glass is heavy. heavy. So that right there is a huge deal. And it's called Meyer Imports and there's information in the description of the videos. Yeah. Down Ooh, below. Yeah, free shipping. I'm gonna have to order some stuff and take advantage. If you guys don't know, Meyer Imports, it's bam, 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 bam. And this is what it looks like, if I can get it out of the bag that I tied too tight. It's called Champagne. You actually can't even buy that. And it's a gold, silver, champagne mix. Of all the virtuous things, and what eight? Not my my jam. Medium mystery box. Is that what you said? We'll get one. What? Oh, every mystery box over fifty bucks. So medium or a large mystery box. I will add one of those packs in there. Up to eight. Up to the first eight because I think that's all I'm gonna have. And we're gonna do a giveaway. Ooh, Clara, could you link the? Uh, is it? The mystery boxes, medium or large, right? Yeah, medium or large. And if you have questions about mystery boxes and how amazing they are, just ask Tim Peace. Right, Tim gets one every 20 minutes. Or me. <laughs> My studio is full of things for mystery boxes. And some of the stuff that's going on in mystery boxes right now is from 
Judy. Judy Sands exclusive collection of every art thing ever invented yes. in the world. Judy contributes a lot of things to mystery boxes. I once in a while help pack the mystery boxes, which is really fun. Oh, there's clear in this mix too. Clear, gold, glitter, champagne, and it's all different cuts, which is also cool. Mm -hmm. There's like a pow almost a powder, it's so fine. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful glitter glass. I don't think I want to add any of the pink. Thank you so much, Clara. To here. No, the center's good. That's a very beautiful. Can you show them up close? How? Yeah. That yellow just looks so abrasive. Let me put some white on it. Tippy says the best. Well, thank you. Thank you. Clara said, pro tip, you always get your money's worth in the mystery boxes and then some. Yes, it's always valued at, if you get a $50, you're, no matter what, you're getting $50 worth of things and then extra. I actually had one person, no, I've, twice I've had someone like, um, I don't. They are very different from grab bags. They are very different. They are not grab bags blockbusters. are just for yeah sale days. Those are like half off type mystery boxes. Right. So fam, when would be a good time for me to do another fire sale? What do you guys think? Fall. September. I was thinking like before then. Um, August is a little busy. Maybe end of August. Mid August. It have to be mid August. <laughs> What's in the middle of August? I don't have time to get it for you by then. A lot of stuff is prepped on the last one. Okay, for not. I think Clara I said tomorrow. <laughs> she got jokes. Does that yellow look better now that it's. Clara, you almost made me fall off his stool. Elevated. That looks really good. Yeah, I like that. Very pale, pale uh, lemonade. I'm just going to get home and be like, that does not at all look like hotel. What hotel is he going to? Or I'm thinking motel. I'm gonna add just like the tiniest bit of gold. Evelyn said she won a mystery box and it was cool stuff. Lisa said, if you ever get stuck, mystery is the cure. It really is. I remember, I think it was the first box I ever ordered like three years ago. It was like the first time she did the boxes. And she sent me a yellow Posca pen. And I was just like, <laughs> what? I might as well do it. And then uh, we were doing challenges once in a while back then. And I did a challenge and I actually needed that yellow. It was one of the colors in the palette. <laughs> so you never know when you need the random things in the mystery box. All I'm saying is, is I don't carry Joe, no, it's Chicago. No, and it's cool, and you get so many things that you have to review and test out that you're never necessarily going to use again. You have just so much that Why let it go waste? don't let it go bad and don't let it go waste because you used it one time or two times. Right. Ooh, and you once sent me uh, those holders, the like triangle things. I still use those. You know, you put your board on it. Uh -huh. They're like pyramids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so apparently I grabbed gold leaf that is stuck. So you can get gold leaf that is loose sheets of gold leaf. No, that, oh, there's one. No, it's not. It's also stuck. You get loose sheets and then you can get it so it's stuck on that. So basically how you would use this is it's like relief style. It's like barely on there. 
And like so a rub on. Yeah, so then you just stick it to wherever you think you have it sticky. Which honestly is amazing. Like yeah. Right? Because you don't, it doesn't all of a sudden go flying out of your hand. I wouldn't know anything about that all over your carpet. Yeah. When I did that wall. <laughs> Libby, it's a never bad habit. It's always good. Good. If you're using your supplies, it's a good habit. And if you don't use them, you can always find churches and um, preschools and daycares and things like that that will use your unused art supplies. My initial idea for this piece was to dry brush it with sticky and then just let the gold leaf adhere to whatever it felt like. Maybe I'll do that on the next one. Uh, Erica's farther away from the phone than I am, and I also have a very loud voice. Uh, Vamp projects. They're saying it's hard to hear you. My bad. Is that but better? You see hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Libby says she's a supply hoarder. Don't no one have supply hoarder title like my fairy art mother. I know a great organizer. <laughs> For anyone in the market. For anyone who needs organizing. They don't do that. Oh, TG has to go. Bye, TG. She's taking dad out to dinner. Dinner? What'd you say? What time is it? There, 4.30. Seems like dad dinner time. It does sound like a dad dinner time. Okay. Let's dust off the excess and then see what we got. Oh, correct, Clara. Uh, high school, our teachers will cry with joy if you donate extra art supplies to them. Then think about that. That's true. Also that. Anybody that deals with children and creativity will appreciate it more than anything. Times can be tough, so if you're not using it, go put a smile on someone's face. And that's coming from me. I love that little addition. It's like an antique-y, I like it. It's reminding me of a brooch, like a 1950s brooch. It reminds you of a brooch. Yeah. It's a good thing. Dig it. Let's just put a little sticky on the high points. Eh. Judy said, Vamp organized me to sanity. Gorilla, if anyone's in the market for someone to organize their stuff. Vamp is Miss Madam Organizer. I am. That was my job for many, many, many years. And still is. And still is. My gig job. Side job. Alright, I think I hit all the high points. What color are you going to do? Gold? I'm just going to dust it with gold, yeah. But I need loose gold. Judy says, I'm out of here. Off to get nails done. Oh, have fun, Judy. Have a good nail day, Judy. Doing that tomorrow. Okay. This is what... Oh, that's a dangerous Gold leaf piece. looks like. See how it flies away? If I sneezed right now, this would go... In my face. <laughs> and then land in my face. It takes all of nothing to rip this stuff. Libby, I would smile and love it. She said, if I showed you pictures, you would retire real quick. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> She'd be like, what's your budget? Yep. <laughs> Will travel. I'm a, like, I love watching like the hoarder shows and any organized show. Like, I love it. It's, I would assume that you did not like watching hoarder shows. No, I like, because I like watching it get cleaned. Okay. I don't like the beginning. It but I like how it gets clean. That's the only good part is the beginning. Oh, I like the ending. All right, I'm just gonna work it all up in there. 
But you didn't do all the yellow, just spots in the I yellow. I just did the high points, but to be fair, it may stick to the paint. Oh, that's true. If it was not fully yeah. dried or something. So that's why I'm kind of trying to rough brush it to work some of that out. And if it doesn't go, then it's just meant to be there. I'm waiting on one of my flowers to just fly off. Like the gold leaf just flew off? Mm -hmm. There may have been too much gold. Did it all stay? Well, I still see yellow. I like it. So she could have stopped five steps ago. I could have, but now I just have to make it even. But we can never stop adding bling and shine. Listen. I can't stop. More is more. More is always more. And good. Also good. I mean to us. Libby said, never too much gold. I like it so much. I'm kind of mainly using the gold on this one. Sorry for all the extra mess. You might be running out. As kind of a like petal. Claire said this could be a finished oops wrong channel. Section. Oh, or... she's back on tonight too. That's why I so for an hour. <laughs> Sometimes I start on something. I don't know. I know. I'm just gonna gold this up and we'll be good to go. Did you put gold on the high points in the yellow? No. I'm not really sure where all I put. That's what's cool about leafing too. You can kind of just, because you can't necessarily see where you put the adhesive, but you can just run the, the leaf across it and mm -hmm. it'll catch. Um, be mindful if you do that on top of resin. But sometimes, well, resin it just, just catch. It just decides to, it's going to live there. It is not empty. Acrylic painting with Julie E's. Much better with the gold. Just adds things when you add a little shine or a little, a little, yeah, if you have like a flat color or more of opaque color and you add something that's a little bit glossy or a little shiny. You don't have to be, you know, glitter and rhinestones every day. Leafing is a good kind of Medium. Segue into that, yeah. Oh, no such thing as too much bling. Very good point. People in the chat say hi, Jeff. Hello. They know you're here because Bowie told them. Jeff said hello if you couldn't hear him. Evelyn, I forgot what I said. Why not what? <laughs> what I said. Mm, I mean, what I say? She said, why not? Yep. I don't know what I said. I'm sure it was very uh, poignant, <laughs> impressive, well thought out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It was well thought out. Mm. Like you considered many things before speaking. <laughs> Never in my life have I done that. Zero percent of the time. Nope. All right. Let's dust this sucker off and see what we got. And then Nathan and I get to go 
do more work. Yay. It's better than rearranging my entire house, I suppose. I mean, also, when leafing, I would uh, like to add, use a, a mask. Just for me, who happens to be allergic to like everything, I'm already feeling it because I'm just around it and not wearing a mask. Should be all right. Expert wall. I mean, hotel art. It is not, it is beautiful. Somebody will want my hotel art. Oh, Evelyn, I think she was asking because I was saying something about glitter. Not everyone likes glitter and rhinestones. It's just too much for a lot of people, especially art that's in a more masculine home. Sure. But the shine of leafing, I know it's, <laughs> I don't understand it, but <laughs> leafing is a good, good way to bring a little shine and bling into it is a good bridge. The most masculine of homes. Because they're not going in. Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys, that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Vamp's going to ask you guys a pop quiz. All right. The question is and Vamp gets to call the winner. What does Lametta also, like, what would we call that? What's another word for What's Lametta? another word for Lametta? You can hold your finger over that word and then show them. Which? What it's spelled Whoa. like, what it looks like. Angel hair with Lametta. What is that, another word? Melissa for? Crocker. Melissa Crocker. Melissa, Melissa, can you email me your address, please? I have it in the system. Oh, you do? Unless it hasn't changed. Or e <laughs> Libby said, Santa's beard. So yes, Lamenta uh, is also tinsel. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I think the execution is a little bit weak. So I will be revisiting. But that shows you what awesomeness you can do with those metal flakes. And this is what you can do. <laughs> All of this amazing can be yours if you add um, some of that Lametta to your and then modeling paste. The first eight mystery boxes is going to get free one of these as well. Yeah. And that won't count towards whatever price mystery boxes No, box that's just have. extra. So, there you go. Um, if you guys have any questions, shoot us an email. Vamp and I will get back to you super quick. Um, remember, if you order from Meyer Imports, they have... Everything ever miniature ever, and all the glitter glass and every size glitter glass ever lived. So, get some glitter glass while you're there. Use the code ATD2022. I believe all the links are down in the description box. Doink, doink, doink. And every order starting August 1st. Uh, Meyer will give you some glitter rama. Just make sure to use my code to give me a little some some, and you will get an awesome discount. And every order over $100 gets free shipping. I don't know if that starts on August 1st or August not. August 1st. Oh, that also starts on August 1st. And if you guys don't know, glitter glass gets really heavy, so yeah. Oh, I don't know about the free shipping. That was just in the August 1st email blast. Oh. One of my first flowers I did. 
I used washing detergent, so it oxidized some. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching see what we're up to. We go live almost every day. We try to post video every day for sure. And it's always entertaining, educational, or inspiring in some way. At least that's my goal. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to hit the bell so that YouTube can sometimes send you updates because YouTube's going to YouTube. And check your cell phone settings, push notifications, because that's what was happening with my phone. I had it turned off on my phone. That one turned out fun. Love that. Look at those colors. And it didn't go green like you thought it would. Mm. I mean, light in there, but not yeah. really. So I'm going to probably go in the middle of these with something. And then these are my other texture flowers. Fail. <laughs> Half a fail. The most fail. <laughs> it, it it looks and feels like hard buttercream. Doesn't it? Yeah. So it kind of is like that is the texture. Royal feel. icing. Yeah, very much so. Boop. Anyways, that's all my flowers. Let's go work. And we got some work to do. Anyways, so, um, yeah. Buy some stuff. Email us if you have questions. And we'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central for another exciting live where I won't know what I'm doing until <laughs> we start. But and till then. Remember, ATD does the test. So Bowie doesn't have to. Okay, Bowie. Anyways, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Jeff says hi again. <laughs> And uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. I said bye.